How much does it cost to work with a financial advisor? Hi, I'm Ed McKnight, economist here at Obers Partners, and in today's video, you're gonna learn exactly how much it costs to use a financial advisor. And what we're really talking about here is financial planning, because there are a whole heap of different types of financial advice. You can have mortgages, insurance, you can have health insurance, but really we're talking about financial planning here. Now I'll tell you what I mean by financial planning, but let's just dive into how much it costs. There are two different types of this type of financial advice. You've got free and you've got paid. If it's free, there's obviously no cost. So you can see there's a little asterisk there. I'll tell you why in a second. But if you're gonna use paid financial advice or paid financial planning, it's gonna cost you somewhere between $500 and 10K. And I'll tell you what the difference is in a second. So let's dive into what financial planning actually is. It starts by saying, well, where are you now? What have you got? What's your income? And what are you on track for? So a good financial planner will run some models, run some numbers, and see, well, where do you expect to be by the time your goals come around? So say 10 years, 20 years into the future, what are you currently on track for? And then it says, well, where do you want to be? What are your goals and how much money are you going to need in order to achieve your goals? And then what a good financial planner will do is say, is there a gap? Is there a gap between what you're currently on track for and where you actually want to be in the future? And then they will come up with, well, how are we going to fill that? How are we going to move you from what you're on track for to where you want to be in the future? Now, how does this all work? Here's what any financial plan actually needs to include. First of all, they will look at your goals, how much money you'll need to achieve your goals, how much income you currently have, and how much you can contribute to any investment. And they'll also look at any debts or liabilities you have, and then they should come up with recommendations for what you should be doing to achieve your goals. And on top of that, they'll also make up some projections. They'll model and see, well, if you follow these recommendations, will you actually achieve your goals? So this is what a financial plan should actually include. Now, if we step back to the cost question, you're probably wondering, well, why is it that most financial advice is free? Well, if you come looking for advice to a financial advisor, you're probably going to need some sort of financial product. Now, what I mean by that is some sort of insurance or mortgage or loan or some sort of investment that you need to start contributing to. Well, a financial advisor will have a relationship with potentially several product companies. Now, that could be an insurance company, a bank, it could be an investment company, but they will have some sort of financial product, and then they will give you a plan, your financial advisor, along with recommendations about the sort of financial products you might like to invest in or that you might like to buy. Now, if you say, yes, I'm going to invest $200 a week into XYZ's company, then they will earn a commission from that product company. Your financial advisor will earn a fee from that company so that they get paid for offering you that advice. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. The FMA, the Financial Markets Authority, who regulates all financial advisors, they don't like the word free. Now, why might that be the case? It's because they think, well, what if the commission or the fee that an advisor is paid is baked into the price that you pay? So what if you are paying a higher interest rate, say to the bank, because you've used a mortgage advisor? Now look, in practice, we don't see a lot of that going on. You'll actually pay more or less the same interest rate to the bank, whether you use a mortgage broker or go to the bank directly. So we don't see a lot of it in practice, but it is something that you need to be aware of. Now you might be wondering, well, how much does a financial advisor earn? How much commission do they make? Well, a financial advisor has to tell you the exact dollar amount or percentage that they earn when they make a recommendation to you. So let's say they've gone out, they've found some products that might fit you. Well, when they deliver your plan and their recommendations, they also have to give you a disclosure document. And this will note down the exact fees that they are paid, the exact percentages that they're charging that product company so that you at least can see pretty transparently how much they're being paid. Now, what's important to know is you do not have to take up their recommendations. Just because they're giving you a plan for free does not mean you actually have to follow it. You can go away and say, look, this is great, but I'm not going to go ahead with it. That's fine. You don't have to go with it. But you just want to make sure that you've got some other way so that you can still achieve your financial goals. 
Now let's just dig into free versus paid advice and look at the differences before we dig in into more detail about how much paid advice costs. If you're using a service that has no cost associated with it, you're not paying them anything, then there will usually be quite a defined process you go through. Whereas if you use a paid service, it'll generally be more tailored. So a no cost service is, I like to think of it as off the shelf. It's not very customized necessarily to you in terms of the process. Whereas if you use a paid service, it'll be very tailored. Let me give you an example of what I mean by this. So here at Opus, we have both a free and a paid service. Now, if you look at our paid service, it works really well for buy and hold passive investors who want to purchase new build investment properties. Now, in that free service, they'll come in, they'll use My Wealth Plan, which is a piece of software that we've specifically created to give advice and do all of the modeling. And then we'll go out and look at new build investment properties that fit with what the investor needs. Now, that's a bit different from our paid service where we can talk more broadly about your portfolio. We can talk about subdivision, which properties to buy and sell, which other strategies you might need to use in order to achieve your goals. But the paid service, it can be more customized and a bit more broad, whereas the free service tends to be a little bit more narrow and off the shelf. Let's now dig into how much paid advice costs. It's usually somewhere between $500 and 10K, and it exists on a spectrum. So at the cheaper end, $500, what are you going to get for that? Probably a meeting with a financial planner and a very basic written plan for you about how to achieve your goals. It might be a couple of pages long and it might not be bad, but it will just be more basic. Whereas if you paid a little bit more money, say two grand, that's where you might have more robust financial modeling. There might be additional projections in there, something that has been, I don't want to say thought through more, but thought through more. Whereas if you go to that more expensive end, it might be five grand, and that would be where you're working more intensively with an advisor, having a more complex written plan. Now let me ask you this, which of these prices are right for you? Well, it depends on your situation, right? If you have quite a simple financial situation, you're earning a salary, and you've got a normal level of assets, then hey, the cheaper, end of this spectrum could totally be the right fit for you. Whereas if you've got a couple of million dollars in wealth, you're a business owner, you earn quite a lot of money, that 5K end of the spectrum or 10K could actually be what you need because you've got more complex needs. So it's important to make sure that you're choosing the right person to work with and the right product that fits with you. Now, just to give you an example of where we sit here at Opus, our paid service, our portfolio analysis is $999, including GST, so it sits between that 500 and 2K amount. Now, quick pop quiz before we wrap up. How much commission or fees do you think companies that charge you a fee get paid? Well, you might think it's nothing, right? If you're paying a fee to a financial advisor for some advice, you might not expect them to earn a fee or commission from a product company when they make a recommendation. That's not necessarily what we see in practice. Often, a financial advisor who's charging you a fee will also get paid by the product company if they make a recommendation to you. Now, this isn't necessarily dodgy, it's not necessarily a bad thing because that helps to keep the financial advice cheaper or more affordable than it would otherwise be. But I just want to point this out because some people really care about this sort of stuff. Now, if you are going to pay for advice, there are three things you need to do. First of all, be really clear on what you are getting because what you think a financial plan is and what the advisor thinks a financial plan is might actually be different. So really important to ask for examples of financial advice that I've given in the past. If you can see the sort of advice they're writing, though you obviously want to make sure that you're not getting somebody else's personalized financial information, but if you can see examples, you're going to be able to tell, is that the right fit for me or not? And of course, work with someone you trust. Work with a company that you think, these guys know what they're talking about, and then you can work with them and understand what you're going to get. Now, let's wrap this up. How much does it cost to work with a financial planner? Look, if you've got quite a simple situation, it might be anywhere between $0 and 2 k if you've got a more complex financial situation, somewhere between two and 10K.